Hey gamers, it's Monday and you know what that means. It's time for your weekly dosage of Monday Mashup. Your one-stop shop for all the information you can get on the newest games and movies coming out this week. We've got a few big releases on the gaming front, not so much on the cinematic side unless you're really into Jesus. Well, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Thief is being released for pretty much all of the consoles except for the Nintendo-based ones this week. And well, the first round of reviews aren't loving it. For those who don't know, Thief is a stealth action game where you play as, you guessed it, a thief. Not much more to it. If you like being a stealthy dude and you like stealing things, play this game. Also, apparently, the PC version is getting many props due to its graphical options. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is coming out for the 360, PS3, and PC this week, and it's kind of an anomaly to me. Its predecessor, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, was met with middling reviews at best, and definitely was not a hit on the market. But for some odd reason, the game's getting an entire sequel. Why, Konami? What's your long con in this situation? Either way, if you like God of War-based combat in a Castlevania universe, this is your jam. But if you love and cherish the concept of Castlevania you still have after playing Symphony of the Night and not touching another Castlevania game, steer clear from this game. Steer clear as humanly possible. Tales of Symphonia was quite possibly the best JRPG that came out for the GameCube and PS2, and its successor in the series, Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, for the Wii was quite possibly one of the only reasons to actually buy a Wii. While the two games are getting an HD remake and coming to the PS3, which is kind of great, the bundle will also come with some extra content and gameplay improvements, so, you know, more bang for your buck. Just be willing to set aside multiple weekends for these games, because by god, they are really long. Son of God is a movie based around Jesus' life. No I don't uh, really know what to say here, aside from the fact that if you're the type of person who likes to watch the movie instead of reading the book, I can kind of understand why you'd want to watch this movie. The Bible is pretty beefy. Nonstop may very well be the best name for an action movie I've ever heard. We can only hope that the action in this movie is in fact nonstop. The movie takes place on a plane from New York to London. US Air Marshal Liam Neeson gets cryptic messages stating that if he does not deposit, 150 million dollars to an offshore account, a passenger will die every 20 minutes. It doesn't seem like a bad flick, I mean it's got Liam Neeson and Julian Moore so it's got that going for it. Also again, the title is pretty fantastic. Well gamers, that's it for me this week. We've got a little bit of everything for everyone. We've got a movie about Jesus, a movie about Liam Neeson being an action badass, we've got a soul crushing Castlevania game that'll appeal to a younger crowd, we've got a JRPG remake you'll probably not get through, and we've got that stealth game you'll play on the PC because it looks so damn good. Kevin, signing off.